Right now, VTK, they they really want to go full on aggressive, so apparently they're not going to kite. They're just going to use all the early game advantage that they have. Wesker on this Beatrix, Granger having that very early power spike, Selena and the Grok. However, from the side of Blacklist, if they can wait this out, then they're going to lose a lot. Yep, Zia is uh, making his debut on the Selena. Never played it in yeah. M3. Well, we're going to have to see how he performs here because it is now or never a high-risk, high-reward hero like we mentioned so many times before. Blacklist International with the final pick. Is it? It is going to be the Kimi, not the Bane, coming in. What are your thoughts on this? The thing about the Kimi is it, it's more of a precise tool. As compared to the Bane that can win these huge trades and just steamroll through objectives, the thing about the Kimi is it chooses who it kills. It, it, it's so much more specific. So I'm guessing that's the call between Bonchan and Wise. Well, let's see if it I, pays off. I honestly want to see what emblem are they going to put on this Kimi. Because if he has the jungle emblem, then we're going to look at a very fast-paced game between both these teams where a lot of kills as well as turn stealing is going to be a factor in this game. However, if it is the mage Kimi with uh, Mystery Shop, then yeah, I, th I think Blacklist, they're just going to outplay BTK by waiting out their winning condition. And it's like, all oh, right, your winning condition's over. Time for us to play. Well, it's time to enter the portal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into the land of dawn. I want to hear it. Break the code or BTK USA. Spam it in the chat right now as we are going to get into the first game. Here we now finally see an answer. It's Fight Chicken still on the Beatrix. Victor on that semi tank show played from the side lane. Honestly, I do believe that is innovation. He's one of the first few we saw do that. Rock in that concussive blast. And, huh, that's a cool switch. He's facing off against the Brody on OM. Yeah, but right now, BTK, they're playing uh, a little bit slower. Maybe they're just waiting for Mobile Zane to hit level oh. four. But the arrow hits, and he doesn't want to go in just yet. I'm looking at BTK. When are they going to be like, yep, let, let's do it right now? Yeah, they're going to have to keep on looking for these Abyssal Arrows connecting and they need to capitalize on the fact that they hit it, alright? Because a lot of these, a lot of the times here, for the side of Blacklist International, they have so much peel, it's going to be so hard to pull the trigger of, from the side of BTK. So, it's about when. Yep, this is the same strategy, uh, the maneuver, the Blacklist International. Week in, week out, they pulled this out during MPL Philippine Season 8, where they would switch Oheb and Edward for a better early lane game advantage. And so far, we're seeing signs of that, but I guess Z is buying the neutralizer here. He's, he's using his kit as a Selena to make sure that the rotations from the mid aren't as easy. Well, actually, Victor is able to steal away the gold buff. Venus goes in. Zia chunked very, very low. Forced to recall away. Moba Zane rotated the mid lane, going in for that Rhapsody. Only connecting a few bullets onto Haji. Victor is just going to soak in this min the minion waves here in the top side. Letting Blacklist International taking a huge chunk of that turret goal. That's huge. Look at that swing right now. There, there's nothing... Uh you should count out, especially in the first two minutes of the game. 200, 300 goes a lot special if you put in the right place. Yes. Right now, I'm actually looking at the side of BTK. They have a lot of missed opportunities. When they have the crowd, they can open the map very, very wide. And with this, um, oh. sorry, with, with Zia on the Selena, they really should have pressured Wise when he's trying to take the buff and let Granger just basically free farm. Oh, and the, oh my god, that's first blood wow. for Victor! He gets a solo kill onto the Prince, presented to you by Razor. That was a heartfelt 1v1. These two guys, Oeb and Victor, they're good friends yeah. outside of the game, and I can imagine a smile on both of their faces like, mm, you got me, you got me. Oh, look at this though. Amazing flicker by the side of Zia to get away from that knockout strike as Edward almost just brought him to Blacklist International. Now the Abyssal Arrow connecting once more onto Wise. This is going to be huge. Let's see if BTK can capitalize on this. A 4v4 with Ranger coming in. Let's see. Victor already oh, opening up the map. And look at Zia! He gets the Abyssal Arrow! And that's going to be Wise taken down! They're going to go for more right now as Shark jumps in, gets Ohem, and Blacklist International forced to back away 3-0 to zero in the third minute of the game. One of the biggest things that happened just now was Shark managing to get level 4 once he has that. He can and charge it and he can knock up a lot of people but again Zia getting that stun and then the Grog putting the putting the 
uh, blockage behind him and then charging in. That was a big turn of events. BTK, this is how you play the draft. It's just that how they can maintain this kind of pressure because again, they are on a clock. And when you're facing us, Blacklist International specifically is a seven minute mark. The sidelines are all being won by the side of BTK. This is not good for Blacklist. That's how they usually play. That's how they're able to get the pressure done. And look at this. First turret might go to the hands of BTK. Yep, again, as soon as Zia and Shark have figured out how to start rotating aggressively, then that's exactly when BTK gets into the driver's seat, gets full control of the wheel. Must give all my love to Shark. Shark is playing the classic Grok, and after wow. Zia catches one with the arrow, they just take advantage. I remember when they saw uh, here in this little, little area in the river, they took the little wanderer because of the power of nature. That's how on point this kid's mechanics are. And look at how Shark is blocking the rotations for the side of Blacklist International. They might just go for the dive right now. It's going to be the Abyssal Arrow not connecting onto Oheb. Still able to survive for now. Blacklist International and BTK. BTK now with a 2,000 gold lead. Yoosh. They're going to try to use this to utilize this. And oh my god! Edward gets shot really low. That's not being used. Blocked away by Wise right now. Is that's going to be Blacklist again on the back foot? Abyssal Arrow almost connecting. Mobile Zay now dashing in front onto Venus, getting the Rhapsody, but only connecting onto a full few of those bullets. Looking at the situation, BTK, they really should hold the map very well. I like what Shark is doing. Like Mirko say, he's really slowing down the rotation coming in from Blacklist International. But Blacklist, come mid game, they have to have someone able to open the map because whoever is walking, they can oh. die from fried chicken. And this is a bad, bad, bad situation. BTK what? has the potential to snowball this out of control. This Zia's, is insane. Zia's been holding out on us. This, this, this Selena is amazing. Yeah, I mean, we Five haven't minutes. seen it at all and this yeah. has just been insane. He has, yeah, he has missed a few, but it's gonna be actually Edward jumping in very aggressively. Now, Black National with the start onto this turtle. The, oh, Mr. Arrow will not be able to connect right there as Haji pops in. That real world manipulation. Now, Detonata being able to cha change and go for the poke, but the Black Mister National is gonna get that destroyed. BTK not responding with anything. Oh, Heb going in, trying to hit Victor. BTK going for that mid lane pressure instead. Conceal. You left my chicken for two minutes, he takes two turrets. Look at that. Oh my god, That's I a didn't good notice trade. that. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, with these, with these trades on the board, BTK, they like playing this. They're getting pressure on the, on the map. Tier 2 is definitely much more worth it than a turtle. Yep, yeah. and you can't even convert the turtle into another team fight because exactly. both teams decided to take it slow. So, fight chicken. Amazing, taking advantage of this hero's kit and his position on the map. Well, let's see. Blacklist might be collapsed on here, and that's going to be the turn of our memory used early. That is a big resource being Red popped already, and look at the damage. That's going to be the in. That's the tier one turn. As Victor goes over the way, the dragon able to connect onto Edward right now. Look at the wild charge. BTK are on a roll. Four to zero right now. Yeah, this is perfect. They're using the draft with the utmost strength. Victor getting those flanks, getting those catches from behind. Zia catching anyone from the front. And then Shark, he just plays super aggressively. If anyone gets caught, he doesn't mind burning the flicker. He's gonna go and he's gonna engage. And Blacklist International, they have a skilling composition. They can eventually come out of this hole. But if BTK keeps getting these turrets, choking out Blacklist International from their... Wait a oh, minute. Hold on. Oh, Venus goes in for the circle. Eagle bringing it. Oh, have a look at a flicker coming in. And the disengage from Shark. It's going to be the kill picked up right now. It's an all-out fight. Breaks loose. Zia caught in a bad situation. Still able to flicker out of that one. But look at the health bars from the side of Blacklist. That's Sonata coming in to snipe them down. Edward going to the moment. Zane. Oh, my God. Going to be able to take the damage with the real world inflation. That's two for zero. Oh, have going in for the stun. Victor still able to get away. And that is just a beautiful trade for Blacklist. Putting them on the board. Could have sworn Haji was in the real world manipulation for an extra 10 minutes. Yeah. That was going on forever. He was drawing lines across people. Could have sworn it went off the screen, but truth be told, that was a great engagement by Blacks International. They knew the limits of their heroes. They knew the limits of the rotations, and they were not scared at all. Oh, Venus stayed at the cusp of that uh, border, and right now, they, they bought themselves quite the lead. And the, the, it's waiting to happen. The swing is going to happen. And there it is. Blacklist back in this. Yeah. Oh. And, and we have to look at the itemization over here. Why still can deal a lot of damage. One, because he has that um, ice cream one to slow everyone up. And because he already finishes going one, anyone staying in front, say the Grok or Victor on his show, they're going to burn for a lot of damage. And it will deter any kind of engagement coming out from them. 
But from the Blacklist International side, we have to look at Haji. If he can drop this real world manipulation onto, uh, onto Fried Chicken, then that's great. That's amazing. Because you need to take care of this Beatrix first because she, before she becomes a problem. Both of these teams need to play towards their winning condition. Blacklist International were finally able to force their playstyle upon a BTK going for a 5v5 fight. BTK, once again, they need to isolate these members. They need to be able to pick one by one, utilizing Shark and Zia. Those are the two engaged tools that you need to utilize. If you keep on going in like that, it is not going to be good. As soon as they read where Zia likes to oh. put his arrows and his traps, It'll get a little better for Black International, but until then, until then, BTK can actually still just rely on White Chicken with that Renner. Oh, Edward. I'm, I'm, inter I'm interested how they're gonna use this flank. It's, it's such a great position by Edward. Yeah, but look at that. Actually, the missile arrow connecting onto Oheb, that is gonna give them a little bit more time to reposition themselves. Huge, again, by Zia. Going up against his Filipino brethren. <laughs> Oh yeah, the the Phil Canadian sensation in Zia just flexing on us, suddenly showing us a Selena like no other. It's, it's different. It's, it's a good mix between Sawa Selena oh. and the, the Selenas of other teams here in M3. And so far, oh. Blacks International. Oh, look at this. Victor finding the flank. Yeah, going in onto Haji, but unfortunately it is Haji. That is his signature hero. He knows how to deal with it. He knows the limits of that, but look. Oh, obviously Arrow almost connecting on Oheb. But Edward will be able to change a few shots, a few hits with Victor right there in the bottom side. Bush as the Lord spawns in that top side. Presented to you by TikTok Live. I like money. Let's talk about the gold of fear. Black is international. They're in the lead. And this is what not what you want from side of BTK because they have the scaling composition. Sooner or later, they're gonna hurt a lot, especially Haji coming in from this Eve because her damage is very deceptive. But inside of BTK, they're playing this macro game. Let's look at Victor, how he's moving around the map. He's not really looking for a lot of flanks when it's not necessary. He will only he will stay in the lane, try to get pressure, but when they're setting something up, then he'll come. Their macro is much better in this game. To be fair, there's a lot of decision trees that Victor has to go through, right? He can force that bottom lane, he can try to go for flanks, or he can just wait in a bush and keep Blacklist International thinking. BTK has somewhat of a vision advantage given that they have the traps by Zia, and Shark can clean up bushes. Oh My Venus has to actually check and look manually with those soul blooms. So that being said, Victor has a few more space, a little bit of margin of error. Unless Blacklist makes a huge mistake, it could lead into a quick cleanup. And I guess that's why Haji, he knew that. He picked up the Purify. Yeah, that bottom tier two is just so, so huge right now for the side of, side of BTK. Because they were able to get that earlier now, it is always going to be pushed in up until the inhibitor. And Blacklist will need to constantly be checking on that. The game is slowing down. Blacklist, they're liking this. Because why? So it's just going to keep scaling up. It will be a situation where he will melt everyone. It really doesn't matter what kind of de uh, defensive items that you build. And especially right now, we see Haji already having that Genius 1. Genius 1 having two magic, three magical uh, damage heroes is going to be a situation where BTK, they're going to lose out on the damage. They really need to step up because they're losing the map slowly to Blacklist. Yeah, why is already scaling? Again, remember, that is a scaling Kimmy right here. Already has the Ice Queen wand alongside with the Glowing wand. The longer the game goes, the more damage she is going to do. But BTK, all they need to do is get that one pick off onto that, with that Selena. The Abyssal Arrow is going to be crucial in which fights they win. Look okay, at itemization right now. Wise has more items than we thought. He already has Genius 1 and on the way, creating that Winter Truncheon. And from the side of BTK, White Chicken, he has a lot of damaging items over here. He has the Blade of Despair as well as the Hunt Strike. So he's going to be very, very strong. He's going to be very, very tanky as well with that Brute Force Breastplate. But this is a much more patient BTK. They're, it almost looks like a little bit scared. I, I, I don't know how to think about this. Yeah, unlike their name, they're not thirsty here, it seems like. They're very, very patient. Yeah, they played the first three minutes perfectly. And then they're like, okay, we have a lead, what do we do with this? Oh, the Death Sonata actually taking a huge chunk of Haji's health, and this might be the setup for the Enhanced Lord. Yep, it is. BTK already starting this up. Haji has to recall, forced to recall right now. And if they take the fight, it might be bad. Let's see how they position Haji here, because that is going to be the name of the game. A bit of arrow connecting onto the backside. Oh, he's going to get Whoa. connected too. It's going to be the Yeeb going in for the real world realization. But look at the damage coming in. Zia still gets away. The Lord has been taken down. Wise picks up the kill. A double kill actually right now as Victor is forced to run away. But it is a two kill lead for Blacklist for the trade-off onto that Enhanced Lord. That's a good question to ask. Is it worth it? The two kills 
for the Enhanced Lord. Looking at Blackhawks International's lineup, I'd say yes, they'd make quick work of this Lord when it does come out in about a second. Down bottom, they just need to send one or two, maybe Wise and Oheb, Wise and Haji, and then they look for the next big one. Again, every time that there's a huge team fight, a huge trade, where Blacklist International isn't completely losing, and they're gonna scale up, that's slowly a win. In fact, look at Edward. Edward actually faced off 1v1 against White Chicken in the back. He tried to fight against that Paquito. It's not working out. He will, he will outdash you. He will go to your face, and he does a lot of more uh, burst damage, so yeah. They're really scaling up, even Edward over here. A very tactical game so far for both of these teams. Well, look at White Chicken, he's waiting in the bush. He has the Wesker yeah. out. Oh my, Venus doesn't walk into it. Very, very good call by him. He knows what to do in these situations. Sharks, Shark will be able to zone away the members of Blacklist International. White Chicken going in, Abyssal Arrow won't be able to connect. Venus doesn't pull the trigger just yet. Mobus in, goes in for additional damage. Real world equation. Oh, he flickers in, oh. unable to get the damage done. Torn apart memory has been used, but nothing much more. Victor on the flanks, unable to get anything for now, as both teams will again just move backwards. But look at that bottom side wave pushing constantly. Right now, BTK, they're trying to win this out to macro. Because again, like you guys said, they have a lot of vision of here, especially when they have this Lina. Ooh. Oh, Aji have to be very, very careful. And Blacklist International, they are waiting for an engage, but they're actually waiting for Haji to set the engage. So as long as BTK understand this, where Moba Zane, he just has to keep his own distance, I think they're gonna be fine. Yeah, look at the wave clear from both of these teams. They're playing the macro game so, so well. It's been a tactical fight for both BTK. Oh. But look, White Chicken, this is the strength of this Beatrix. That huge wave clear and that huge siege potential. They need to be able to utilize this more. They have gotten a few turrets because of that, but it is not going oh. to cut it if it's just three turrets. They need to take more here to get control over the next Lord. Yep, and so far BTK, for the past five minutes, they've slowly become more confident in actually splitting up. There we saw a moment where it's one, three, and one, right? You see Victor, you see Zane, or sometimes you see White Chicken apart. I'm guessing Blacklist is just looking for the window wherein BTK doesn't get to respond very quickly. Given Shark's uh, ancient gift, oh. just by sticking to a wall, he moves so fast. So the response time on their roamers is so high right now, and that's why nobody is willing to take a quick fight. Nobody's risking it. Oh, blind. Um, Venice Rage there, interesting. Yeah, but looking at this as well, Gladys International, let's see how they respond. They're moving 2-2-1. Two, two, Haji yeah. is always being guarded by oh. one of them. At place. Oh, but look at that. See ya. Yeah, Venus going in, but it's gonna be the flicker used out by Zia right now. Edward is still waiting as well. This is gonna be the battle of the positioning. Victor is gonna be able to spot out Edward in that bush. Doesn't go for anything right now as Edward just goes for the wave clear. Venus, once again, opening up the map, gets a very good position onto BTK. They're forced to play on this bottom side where Blacklist controls that top side. Minute by minute, I can see that maybe Blacklist International is slowly reading the movements of BTK. They're getting better oh. and better flanks. They're, they're reading Zia's arrows a little better. But at what point will that uh, dive or will that engage off of Oh My Venus turn lethal? Because we've seen it again and again. BTK somehow oh. knows Blacklist movements as well. They, they can read them and look at that. They knew. Venus, we know you're there. Yeah, they're downloading both of these players, both of these teams. They're doing so well right now in the positioning game. Victor though, he's looking for something. He has the flicker. Will he go for it? No. Haji spots him out, knows exactly how Cho plays. And instantly, that is a beautiful read. This is a situation where BTK wants to pick them off. But how can you pick someone off when everyone has a bodyguard? Only Edward doesn't need a bodyguard because he himself is a bodyguard. But other than that, everyone is moving in a two-man unit. So even if you do get someone, even if you do try to engage, the counter-engage coming in from Blacklist is very good. Because if we can actually draw the map, you can look at the pathing coming in from Blacklist. They're always moving at a certain perimeter where in case anything happens, they're more or less a flicker range away so they can always re-engage. And this is why BTK, they're having a hard time as well. Oh, let's see. Venus is already going to go on to Moba Zane right now with the real world is going to be able to get him down. That is going to be a one for zero pick. The jungler for nothing. Blacklist International going in for the Lord right now. BTK, do they want to contest this? Honestly, they can't. Edward already going in, going for the knockout strike. Oh, able to connect on the Zia right now as he's able to get away. But a white chicken goes in with the Nibiru's passion, able to get Venus very, very low. The Lord has been chunked down. Victor tries to open up the map, but it's not going to be for anything. He needs to run away now. Blacklist International on the chase. Victor is trying to get away, but look at the damage coming in. They're going to get collapsed. On. They're gonna get sandwiched. Edward on the damage. Victor has to be the dragon. We'll be able to connect onto it onto Edward. But look at Venus. He's looking for the engage right now. Going for the circle eagle. We'll be able to pop the immortality right now. As White Chicken just does his best in the backside. But we're gonna turn up our memory. Able to get just 
everybody there. And that is going to be the two for zero pick off for Blacklist on top of the Enhanced Lord. Edward, he's going to go under the base, forcing Zia to flicker. You thought you were done, but not quite yet. Edward Balboa has a little left in the tank. An amazing execution oh. by Blacklist International coming in, not conceding a single death. They were able to get the Lord and eventually pick off the perfect targets. Could have sworn Victor should have gotten away. I think Victor thought that they could kite. I thought uh, they were going to go for a back, uh, oh. a re-engage, because Fight Chicken was there, but apparently was not. Oh my god, what is this? Winner's oh. to be used by Wife, but it's going to be him taking a kill down. Shot gets the pick off. Now Mawazayan in the run for the hills. He's going to be knocked out of the real world with Wayshin and Okai against Venus. Shot comes in, but in the bottom side, there is an all-off fight. Fight Chicken gets a 1v1 over Oheb right now, as that is going to be a 1 for 2 trade. And we're now into the base. Inhibitor turret number one gonna be taken away by Edward as Victor goes up and away the dragon on the top side though. Haji losing out in the 2v2. It is going to be the full out defense for BTK, but they've lost inhibitor turret on the way to to be exact. Top and bottom. Oh wait a minute. This might be the end right here. Moba Zane gonna be able to clear out the waves, but look, so much HP taken away from that base. Yep, and even mid tier two, they're gonna threaten this unless BTK gets back on track. Essentially what Blacklist International oh, Edward, Edward. Did, is they oh. baited them out. Look at this! He goes underneath! He's not done! He's gonna survive! Oh! He's feeling the swag! He's feeling the swag! That's why they call him Edward Balboa, baby! He shows up when it matters, going in for the flicker flank onto MOBA Zane. Still 0, 3, and 4, by the way. <laughs> Here, Nick Croucher is amazing. But right yeah. now, actually looking at this game, they were quiet for a very long time. But after that, Lord, it's just non-stop action. And BTK, they're playing to their win condition. They're trying to pick someone up. That is the time that they get the kills. But realistically, you don't get that chance all the time. And Blacklist International, Edward is being a problem. 1-1-1, one, one, one. doesn't look like a crazy kill for But he is super strong right now. How can you deal with this Edward BTK? Man, BTK, they need to go for a desperate fight now. Fight Chicken has been taken very low. Edward gonna go to the backside. Gonna be able to pick up the kill with the helm of the Haji right now. As Oham targets the base. There's nothing that they can do. And Blacklist will lead the series 1-0. to zero. BTK unable to break the code on their first goal right now.